Hey guys! So today I'm going to do a little bookshelf tour video, alright? Because I've been looking at a lot of um, book bloggers' videos and they do it and it's fun. I like to see other people's bookshelves and think, hey I have that book, that's great! And then you kind of have something to talk about with somebody if you want to. So, I'm only going to do my YA bookshelf that's behind me here. Not my adult bookshelf or my waiting to be read YA bookshelf over there. Um, we're just going to start with the YA bookshelf and see how it goes, okay? Mm, let's go! So here is the shelf. Isn't it pretty? Let's start up here. We've got some pictures going on on top. My friend making a weird face. Alright, first shelf. Freddy Krueger bobblehead! Bobble bobble. Of course, if you can see, he's missing his, uh, his, uh, important hand. Um, I do have it, I just need to glue it back on. All you need is love and a dog, and... Vampire Buffy! Missing her, her, um, Mr. Pointy! But I have that as well. Anyway, this first shelf is favorite series and favorite authors. So, Harry Potter, Sloppy First Series by Megan McCafferty, or the Jessica Darling series. These books, um, well, the first two were, uh, like my Bible in high school, I guess. Favorite author, Sarah Dessen. And then another favorite series, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Second shelf, Yoda Bobblehead. Bobble Bobble. Yoshi, a uh, doll thing that my nephew got me for Christmas because he's awesome and he knows me really well. Beauty and the Beast figurine that I got from Disney, and Scarecrow Bobblehead. Bobble Bobble. So these are also favorite authors um, that I have like a lot of books by. So Deb Coletti, John Green, duh. Courtney Summers, she writes pretty dark YA, and I kind of worship her and her writing style. I wish I could write these kind of stories. Um, Suzanne Colasanti is a lot more fluffier romance, but it's cute and it's fun. Eileen Cook and Simone Eccles, also romance, but mmm, good romance. And Youth and Revolt, I guess that's really only one book, but uh, that was another all-time favorite from high school. Third shelf. More favorites, but these um, are... I don't know, I only have a few by these authors. So, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, and Where She Went Goes Here But Somebody Borrowed It, Saving June by Hannah Harrington, uh, her second book, Speechless, Goes Here But Someone Borrowed It, Lauren Miracle, Shine is Amazing. Uh, let's get closer, okay. Jesse Kirby, Morgan Matson, Lori Halls Anderson, Siobhan Vivian, Sarah Ockler, Jennifer E. Smith, Jennifer Eccles, so far this is the two book each author shelf, um, but not anymore. Cody Keplinger, Lauren Barnholt, C.K. Kelly Martin, Elizabeth Scott. Then we'll move on down here, uh, pretty much just more favorites. <laughs> um, there's not too much order to these shelves, but Lauren Strasnick, Strasnick, uh, Jenny Downman, Kristen Tracy, Kim Culbertson, uh, Emily Franklin and Brendan Halpern wrote these two books together, and they're super cute. And then this one is, um, Brendan Halpern and Trish Cook, so he's cheating on Emily. Uh, just kidding. Anyway. Jennifer Hubbard, Jandy Nelson, The Sky is Everywhere. This is an incredible, incredible book, and the author went to my grad school, so yay. Uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower, of course, Judy Bloom's Forever. I Love You, Beth Cooper is hilarious. Uh, this is Laura Cashish, Boy Heaven. She writes young adult and adult and poetry, and she is absolutely brilliant. 13 Reasons Why. Uh, more books, more books. Summer I Turned Pretty. I've only read the first one. Sean Griswold's Head was awesome. Trapped. Um, Bruiser is really great. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. The Sky Always Hears Me and the Hills Don't Mind. I love this book. I don't even know how I discovered it. It's just random. And then this corner right here is actually my gay boy book corner because I realized I had quite a few because I'm a sucker for that. But uh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe is seriously one of the best books I've ever, ever read. Um, and Don't Let Me Go is also really amazing. And then we move down here, and it's just kind of now just all thrown in less favorites, but... Uh, Got two verse novels. I tried to keep them together. Um, let's see. Anything spectacular? Yeah. 
Meh, they're all cool. Okay. And then at the bottom is kind of my series I'm embarrassed of. <laughs> sort of. Uh, Pretty Little Liars. I'm really not embarrassed. I really love Pretty Little Liars, the books and the shows, but, uh, but, you know, I don't, I didn't feel the need to display them up with my favorites, so they're there. And then her other series, The Lying Game, I have the rest that are out. There's a couple more out, but I haven't read them yet. Uh, <laughs> Twilight. I'm really not embarrassed about that either. Whatever. They were fun books. And then, actually, this is my, like, not contemporary <laughs> section, uh, because I don't have much of it. So, Twilight, Hush Hush, only read the first one. Shiver only read the first one. Chime by Franny Billingsley. She's actually a professor at my school, so she's amazing. Hunger Games only read the first one. Golden Compass. I've read the whole trilogy, but I don't have the third book because I suck. Um, and then Delirium by Lauren Oliver goes here, but somebody borrowed it. There's a sequel, Pandemonium. That is amazing. Amazing series. I cannot wait for the third one. And then I put Before I Fall. It's sort of contemporary, sort of not. It doesn't really go down in this category, but uh, I wanted to keep her books together. And then down in this area... We've got just a little middle grade shelf, because I'm not that into middle grade, but sometimes I have to read them for school. Although some of these are amazing. Coraline, Tuck Everlasting, When Zachary Beaver Came to Town, Holes, Freak the Mighty, and the sequel Max the Mighty. Those are all really great middle grades if you want to get into that. And then finally we come over here. I've started to make my own shelves because I ran out of room. But I kind of relegated the really not favorites over to here. But see, um, I've got a sign resting up there right now, but I've got plenty of room to build up. So there you have it. So there you have it. Those are my YA books that I have read already. Um, maybe next up I'll do the to-be-read shelf so that you guys can tell me what to read next. Although, once again, nobody watches this, so whatever. But, um... But that shelf is really, like, crowded and packed in, so we can't really do that until we get some more room and can organize it. All right, um, that's it. Talk to me. Talk to me down below if you, uh, like these books or if you want to know anything about them, if they're good and if you should read them. Uh, the answer is probably yes. You should read all the books. All the books in the world. Everyone should read all the books. Okay, bye!